Hello everyone, I am Harsha Kumar from WS3 API Manager team. We are going to discuss about Target Endpoint Controller, which is part of API Operator for Kubernetes. I hope you have deployed API Operator in Kubernetes environment by following our previous screencasts. Let's look at what is Target Endpoint Controller. First of all, our API Operator designed to deploy components of API Management Solution in Kubernetes environment. In a typical enterprise API management solution includes API management components and your backend service components. Target endpoint controller is the process of deploying backend mic services in a Kubernetes with simplified configuration options. When you deploy your backend mic services, you often need to specify the image and the ports and the protocols with many more configuration which need to be exposed from the Kubernetes environment. Our target endpoint definition support two deployment modes including private jet and sidecar. Let's take a look at deployment modes. First, I'm going to discuss about private jet mode. In the private jet mode, it provides the flexibility to expose your backend service as managed API in the private jet mode. It's a default mode of target endpoint controller. In this mode, the backend service deployment will be created immediately after you apply the target endpoint definition. In a nutshell, if you look at the red box of the image, you can see your backends are deployed and there is a service getting created. Through the target endpoint definition, you can specify number of ports which need to be deployed in the Kubernetes environment for your backend service. And it will create the service which can be fronted from a micro gateway to provide API management capabilities. Now take a look at target endpoint definition. As mentioned in previous image, you can see there's a community service getting created which front your backend service ports. The name of this service is taken from the name tag under the metadata section. You can specify any name for the service. Under the spec, you can specify protocol which this service need to be exposed with the port and the target port numbers. Under the deploy section, you can provide the optional name. Most importantly, you need to provide the reference of your Docker image that implement your backend service. The count tag, which is number of ports that should be deployed in Kubernetes environment can be specified here. In the mod, you can specify which mod you prefer, whether private jet or sidecar. I am going to show a demonstration scenario. I used target endpoint controller deploy simple microservice which describe about setup products. And I will refer this backend service in the Swagger file. I will use our API operator to deploy micro gateway in a private jet mod. And I will finally test and verify your backend service with API management capabilities offered to our API operator. Let's look at the configuration for my scenario. In my scenario, I define target endpoint of my simple product service when I specify the Docker image name and I will deploy two ports for this service. I expose this in a HTTP protocol with port 80 and my backend service will be running on port 9090. This is my service name, which is products private chat. I will apply this target endpoint definition and create my backend service deployment. In the Swagger file, I refer my backend service through our vendor extensions, XWS reproduction endpoints, and I provide the same name of my target endpoint. When the API de operator deploy this API, it will automatically re resolve this service correctly and provide the API management capabilities. Let's look at how I deploy these services in a Kubernetes environment. I'm going to use API controller which is our command line tool to deploy these artifacts. First I'm going to deploy my target endpoint definition.
I have applied my target endpoint definition. According to definition, it should create two pods along with service. Let's look at the pods getting created in the Kubernetes environment. You can see there are two pods getting created. If I look at the services, there should be a service getting created for this target endpoint definition. You can see it's also getting created. Now I'm going to deploy our micro gateway through our operator to provide API management capabilities for your target endpoint. Once the micro gateway deployed, I'm going to execute get services command to see what are the service that created after executing the, our API operator. You can see there's a load balance service getting created, which deployed our micro gateway to provide API management capabilities for your backend service. I'm going to invoke it and see the functionality. I'm going to do a simple get with the token stored in an environment variable and see the output. I can see the backend service getting invoked successfully. This is a simple demonstration of the private gen mode of target endpoint definition. Now I'm going to discuss sidecar mode of the target endpoint controller. It also provides the flexibility to expose the backend service as a managed API. In contrast to private chat mode, sidecar mode will deploy backend and the micro gateway together with the same pod. Backend service deployment won't be created once the target endpoint definition is applied. Unlike in the private chat mode, you can see the target endpoint definition will create the backend service deployment immediately after you apply the target definition. And the sidecar deployment will be only created once the API is getting deployed through our API operator. As shown in the image, you can see in the red box, both the micro gateway and the backend service will be reside in the same pod and it will communicate within their local network. There will be a service getting created which provides access to the outside users. I'm going to demonstrate this as a simple scenario. I'm going to use simple inventory service which will be deployed as a target endpoint and I will refer this backend service in Swagger and I will use our API operator to deploy this backend service along with my micro gateway and I'm going to test and verify the deployed API. Let's look at the artifacts. In the inventory sidecar, I define the target endpoint definition. You can see I name it as inventory sidecar and I provide the image name and other details and most importantly I set the mode to sidecar. In the swagger I refer this backend service in our XWS2 production endpoint vendor extension. I am going to use our API controller to deploy the these artifacts as I have done in target endpoint the private jet mode demonstration. I just deploy the target endpoint definition. If I execute kubectl get pods command, you shouldn't see any pods getting created. Now I'm going to deploy the API through our API operator, which will deploy both the micro gateway and the backend service deployment. Now I'm going to list down the services that are getting created in the Kubernetes environment after API is getting deployed in the Kubernetes environment. You can see the inventory service is getting deployed. If I list down the number of pods, you can see there's only one pod getting created, which will reside both micro gateway and our backend service. 
I'm going to invoke this service with the pre-specified token stored in the environment variable. You can see it's getting successfully invoked. If I list down the countries running in this pod, you can see there are two images inside this pod, which is inventory service and our backend service. This is just end of our screencast. If you have any questions, please join our section. Thank you.